Good day, traders. This is Rich with some trading on the markets. Currently, 4:01 p.m. Tuesday, May 26, 2020. Weekend is over. Three-day weekend, and it is showing today. Um, not a great day of trading at all. I don't think it was great trading for many people. Um, we gapped up so heavily, which is kind of good news, I guess. And it just kind of fell off. Bounced a little bit, fell off, bounced a little bit, and then fell off. So it didn't really do what you, you would like it to do, which is a little bit more of a V-shaped move here, a bigger move here, and maybe any of the day move there. So like three moves throughout the day. Uh, if you're going to have an up day, I'm saying. Um, sometimes you don't get it. If you're on a down day, you can get um, bounces and stuff like that. But anytime you're gapping up this much, it just made it really difficult to trade. And this is the SPY. I'm showing right now. Ended up down $153. Uh, the biggest and two of the big trades I took today were winners that I got out because I stopped out and then they ran without me. So let's just go over the bad ones real quick. Disney, yay, Disney. Um, this was the move to 122 here. I got in the move here, 122. I didn't give it one more cent here. Uh, I think it was 165 and it stopped me out. Uh, I didn't have a hard stop. I just kind of said, okay, it's going to keep going down. I should have rode this EMA here and look what happened. Uh, I know for a few cents and I went, you know, I had 200 shares. So that was a big, that was a big loss for me um, for the way I've been trading. And it was a little frustrating to start the day because there wasn't anything, anything. Look what time this was at. Um, I pretty much got in on this candle here. 1040 was my first trade of the day. There was nothing in the morning. Um, and then it turned around and did go up uh, about 43 cents. Yeah, 43 cents in my favor right after I got out here. Um, it, that's that pretty much set the tone for the day and made it made it pretty difficult to um, find some trades. I did take a couple a Tesla trade um, here on the break of the one this level here the one. Was the 823 level, so I looking like, and I was just getting chopped around. I made a little, I made some money back on that one, so I was down like 215 at one point, and that's where I decided, okay, I'm only gonna take one more trade. If it loses, um, I'm done for the day. And actually, I ended up getting like 40 bucks out of this Tesla trade, so that kind of got me going in the right direction. And I thought this afternoon we would open up to some more good trades. Um, and it just didn't happen. The one I missed today, a VTIQ was called right at this level. Break here. Nice climb for a point. Um, didn't catch that, of course. I got on this stupid trade mark at three here. Break at this level. And it went up, uh, no, over here. I'm sorry. And it, I just kind of left it with, a, I think, a break even stop. Uh, let me see over here on my other screen what else I was looking at today just nothing really to talk to oh yeah stupid airlines um, this is another one of those scenarios where I got out too soon and you know the break of this level the 29 level here and uh, I took it for like 10 cents or so and it continued to go up to 83 cents um, why did I get out so early I don't know um, so but that was the case and it did go up 83 cents so the airlines were pretty strong today there were a lot of things that were pretty strong uh tech was pretty weak i think at the end of the day things like apples ended up dropping a couple points after being up uh it dropped like 10 points from its high um i took a las vegas sands trade here just kind of chopped around there was nothing there was just nothing today and uh, i'm sure people made money out there i just feel like it was not a great day of the kind of style I like to trade, and um, that's going to happen. It's unfortunate that's the Tuesday after the holiday, but hopefully tomorrow we get things going again. So I just want to create that video and sum it up. You guys have a good night, and uh, we'll be ba I'll be back tomorrow um, looking at for, for some new setups, and we'll go from there. So have a good one, and talk to you soon.